ladies and gentlemen, we're here at the PBC on the Fighter Share. Y'all missed a treat. Joseph, Biggie Boy, thank you for giving us this interview. Oh, yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you, man. I got a lot on my mind, a lot to say, so I'm here to talk. All right, well, we're here to listen. Um, you were the top prospect, one of the top prospects coming up. I've heard a lot about you. I finally got to see you fight live. Where are you right now in your career? I mean, you know, when my, my career, I just got a big win against a dude that's 21-1. And, and they said his, his loss that he lost was, was, was uh, they say he, he, he really wanted to fight. That's what they say. But um, I just gave him, a sec his, I gave him an official loss. I knocked him out. I stopped him. Uh, I thought he was going a lot sooner than that. I mean, you know, I was trying to, but at the same time, you know what, I, I, I wasn't even trying. I was just doing my work. I know he's going to go. He been going to last on him round. I had him eight ounces on, and I was going to stop him. I know I was going to stop him. I said I was going to stop him. I'm a man of my word. So it was your game plan to keep stunning him and making him forget and get off his game plan the whole time. You know, when I, when I heard him, I kept hurting him. I wasn't going to crowd myself because I know I'm going to hurt him again. And I'm going to keep hurting him. He can't keep taking to me and I'm hurting. Can't, hey, nobody can. I was standing next to somebody who's been following your career for a long, long time, and he kept saying he was glad to see you operate with such patience. Is that something that's new to your arsenal? I, I'm so relaxed, man. You know, it's like, it's like this, man. I know I got power. I know I can stop anybody. But I have to be patient and pace myself. I can't go out there and just get all reckless and hurt them and go, and go wild and, get, and, and tire myself out. So I know if I keep hurting you, if I hurt you once, I'm going to hurt you again, and you ain't going to take too many of them punches. Well, I know those body blows were legit, man. I mean, I can feel his pain from back at the wall. Um, where are you headed from here? I mean, listen, I, you know, Al, Al, Hammond, Al, Al told me the other day, he said, knock this guy out, and we're going to big, big things, get this real money. And that's why, I'm, I mean, wherever the money is, that's where I want to go. Okay. But you seem like you have a, a calmness about you now. You, you still look hungry in the ring, but there's a calmness. Like, this is an everyday job. Is that, is that, am I picking up on that correctly? Big time, big time. You, you, you're right on, man. The thing is, man, it's like this. I know who I am now, you know? I have no fears. I'm sorry, I never had no fears, period. But, you know, me being in the spotlight and um, being in front of all these people, whatever, that kind of, it kind of shook me because I wasn't used to that. I'm from a whole nother, a whole nother thing than, than, than boxing and, 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 you know, the main screen things, you know? But I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I just know self, you know what I'm saying? I know, I know, I, I've been studying self. I know who I am, and that's the big, that's gonna carry me through everything, through any situation. Now, I, I, I've read your background, your background is Nigerian? Yes, sir, you see, you see the colors, you, you see, this is flat right here, green, white, and green. Yes, sir, hey, yes, sir. So you see it, I'm Nigerian. Now, how does that play into your preparation? How does that play towards your career as a fighter? I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm proud of my roots. I'm proud of where I'm, where I'm from, you know. I got family back home in Nigeria, whatever, and, and, and it's all love, you know, and you know, what means a lot to me, my, my last name means a lot to me. It's spelled the same way back and forth, Ilegale. It's the same way back and forth, but the, my name means God. And I dream it means God. I'm a God. I'm going to walk like that in that rain, in that school, and I'm going to walk like outside the rain. I'm a God. Wherever I go, I'm, I'm, I'm God. And you got to stop God. Now, we heard some lady yelling above everybody else during your fight. So, do um, you want to give her a shout out or let the people know who she is? Nicole. That's, that's my main man. She can be at my wedding, whatever. She can be. She's just a wild. She's a live person. Her name is Nicole. My sister's best friend since we was way, way small. But she's just a live, live person. So those people who don't have a cheering section, can they hire her? They can, hey, they can hire Nicole. I'm, I'm gonna get her a job. Y'all, y'all, y'all contact me. Bigs on deck on Twitter. Joseph Legley on everything else. All right. Um, any shout outs you want to give? You know, I want to give a shout out to Bavard County, man. You know, my my whole county, man. You know. It, you know, all these people that came to support me, man, they came, they came out to support me, man. It's all love, man. A, a shout out to Al Heyman because, you know, he gave me this shot. I love that man. To me, that man is God. And he gave me a shot. And, 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 and I'm going to take advantage of it, you know. But really, before I kind of met him, the whole Florida, man, just let us all love, man. And Nigeria. Nigeria, boy. It's all love, man. Have you had a chance to fight back in, in, in Nigeria? No, not yet. But, you know, we, we, um, we going back home. We going back home soon. We gotta get this money together, get everything together, how we need to take care of my family, whatever, over here first, and we're going back home. Fighter Share, this is Mr. Joseph, Biggie Boy, Alegale? Alegale. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, thank you. And God bless you. Fighter Share. My homeboy, my friend.
but most importantly, a warrior. Joseph Biggie Boy Legal for those of y'all that don't know him. We uh, may have been on the scene for quite some time, man, take a little time off. Represent the Countdown County, Brevard County, for represent all of Florida, but home is Brevard County, so we're going to get a little bit more in depth with this interview. Uh, man say you want to share some things, so I'm going to let you have the floor, bro. Just uh, let us know what's going on with you, man, and, and how this camp has been, and what tonight meant for you. I don't know what we're going to do. Camp was good, man. Camp was real good, you know. Um, I just, you know, I got with my own um, strength and conditioning coach. A new, a new, uh, something I never did before, you know. So I do strength and conditioning, and, um, you know, you know, just, it got me right, you know what I'm saying? With Nelson Rodriguez, he's a, a good strength and conditioning coach. And, you know, I've been sparring with Eric, Erickson Lubin, and, you know, just been going hard, you know. Now, we see, uh, we see you look like the old biggie. Mm -hmm. You look hungry, but you were patient. You didn't go in there, you weren't throwing wild punches, you set up your punches, you were still punches, your defense looked a lot better, you were losing, using your legs a lot better. Mm -hmm. So we see where you've made some improvements. What can we expect from you, not only as a boxer, but as a man? I know you've been talking about growth a lot. Mm -hmm. Me and you keep in contact, a lot of the messages and things you've been telling me is, bro, I'm growing as a person, I figured out who I am. Touch on that for us. I mean, you know, just, just, just learning who self was, you know what I'm saying, learning self. Man, know, know thyself, you know what I'm saying? That's what I've been doing. I've been studying and learning who I am, you know? And I'm still growing as a person. But, you know, um, I just, I carry the attitude in the rain, you know? My, like I said, my last name is Legolet. -Leg, and it means God. So I, I, I walk like I'm a God. And that's what I feel like I'm in touch with. And that's, that's how I carry my, that's my attitude when I go in the squad. So, since you've been off for a little over a year, mm -hmm. your first fight back, do you feel like that time off, when you were idle, you didn't have a fight. You were growing and learning more about self. Mm -hmm. Now you come back. Do you feel like we're gonna see the better Joseph Biggie Boy Legolet, or do you feel like the better fighter was left three years ago, now he's just a better person? No, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna see the best. You're gonna, you're gonna see the best. You're gonna see the person with, with no doubts. Before, I didn't know, I didn't know self, so I had doubts in myself. But you're gonna see a, a better fighter, a better person, better than everything. Better to air, everything around the board, and the best to come, man. You know, I haven't fought in over a year, year about a year and a half, and um, you see, you, you see the patience. You, know, you see how everything coming together for me now, and um, it's just more to come. You know, I'm gonna get sharper and sharper as I keep getting more fights, and you gonna start. I see you gonna see a better me. Uh, we heard you earlier reference Al Haney. Mm -hmm. You talked about your admiration for him. Yeah. You say he's helped you out a lot. Can you touch on that for us? You know. Thing, you know, Al, he's a good, he's a man in his work, you know. I, I, I love dealing with Al Hayman, you know what I'm saying? Because we did, we do with Al Hayman, if you say he's gonna do something, he's gonna do it. And that's his work. But you just gotta do your part. As long as you do your part and, and, and go out there and win, he's gonna, he gonna, he gonna take care of you. And I, and I appreciate that man for that, man. Because, you know, where I'm from, people don't get chance. You don't get chance like this. And this man gives me a chance. Well, well, as well as with a lot of other fighters, to give him chances. And you know, being being from the inner city, you know what I'm saying, from people, they want chances, they want options. A lot of people ain't got options, they got chances. And he giving us that. And I appreciate that. Absolutely. Now talking about where you come from, let's talk a little bit about family. Mm -hmm. I know family means a lot to you. I know me and you keep in contact. A lot of times you spend time with your family. I see you on the social media with your family. Talk about how important it is to you, and I, I know you had a heavy contingency of Brevard County and everything, mm -hmm. and it was loud and everybody. <laughs> yeah. I think I saw you kind of nod to him before the fight started, you and Nas were there, so talk about that. I mean, you know, like I, I'm, I'm from Melbourne, Florida, you know, Brevard County, and uh, me coming up from that place ain't nothing easy. It was nothing easy. I, I have nine brothers and sisters, you know, a lot of cousins, a lot of family, a lot of friends, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's tough coming up from, from Brevard County, you know. Just like the world, just as well as in, in the world, you know. And um, so, me, them, them people, they see my grind, they see me struggle, they see me I go through, they see everything I went through. And they here to support me because we're on, we on another level, you know. I, in Brevard County, it ain't too many options. You know, you know, most of the options it is for kids in the city, you know. You get into drugs, you know, you get into go to jail, you know what I'm saying? Get, get, you know, just get into things that's gonna get them, you know, get them jammed up. And um. 
you know, like I, yes, yesterday was my um, was my stepfather's funeral. I couldn't make it, you know, because I'm here. I'm here doing what I got to do. For, you know, life goes on, so I got to continue to do what I got to do, you know. But, uh, you know, my stepfather, he, he, he was found dead in the park from a drug overdose, you know. And um, I couldn't make it do that, you know what I'm saying? I love him, it, 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 was, it hurt me, but I'm here for something better. You know, my little brother, I have a little brother. He just went to jail this month. He went to prison for drugs, you know? But, like I said, back home, it's only, it's them, them are some of the only options people got. And I don't want that. So that's why I stick with this, and that's why I'm here. Absolutely. Um, your man Lubin is in the ring tonight. Yeah. We saw a DG before your fight. Uh huh. And then we saw you go out there. Yeah. So it's probably gonna be a sweep. Out of three nothing. That's what it's looking like. It, it, that's what it's gonna be, you know. Cause listen, that boy Lubin is something serious. He's I, I, listen. He's something serious. You know, I, I I don't I don't talk that about everybody, but I can really say this, man. That he's no hype. They say that's what he is. What he is. And my boy Dennis, he's just so sharp, man. He's a sharp fighter, you know. And the thing we made a bet. We said whoever. Get the uh, knockout, whoever, whoever don't knock me fight out. Dennis, Dennis was the first fighter, he got to set the tone. So whoever don't knock the fight out, or whoever, don't, whoever uh, don't beat what the first fighter did, then he lunches on them. So now, since I, Dennis, he went all eight rounds. Right. He looked sharp, he won. Right, he did, he did, he looked good. Yeah. I went six rounds, stopped my guy. Now, so okay. now, you know, it's on me, you know what I'm saying? Now, now I'm, 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 I'm one to bet. We're going to see what Hammer going to do, you know. We're going to see what uh, Lucian going to do. But if he's not if he's not gonna die better than me, then hey, lunch is on Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> so Dennis got to pay too much. Dennis got Dennis got it. His pocket's gonna be alright. <laughs> I don't think I have too much of a problem with that. Well man, listen, it was good to catch up with you, bro. Um it's been a long time coming. Uh -huh. Hopefully this is one of many more interviews to come. Yeah. I'll be traveling around, be following you. Um we gonna need you to come to Tampa, man. We got some dogs over there want to see you. Oh, you know I love Tampa, man. I, I gas you up all the time in the gym, so they want to see you. I love Tampa. So you gotta make your way over there, man. Don't make me look bad. You gotta my, go there and show up. My boy Silky Wookie over there, you know, that's my dog, that's my brother, you know. So I'm, I'm nothing, man. Okay. I'm nothing. You know, like I said, you're my brother. You've been there since day one, and you all believe in me. Even, even, even when I, even when I didn't want to do it no more, you know. But you know, I, I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, for the thing, for you know, giving me your time. Absolutely, well, ain't nothing, man. That's what family here for, man. Yeah. The fighter chef, Joseph Alegale. Big things coming in the future, man. Y'all stay tuned. Take care of the hand, man. Nothing's kind of big. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. What's up, bro?